for how much the web has evolved, the browsers as a platform haven't evolved that much. What we are trying to do with Chrome is to make sure the browsers are really evolving along with the web so the web can evolve to the next level. Browsers need to get better because they were designed for an era where web pages were doing completely different things. Today, most of what we use on a day-to-day -day basis are applications and not web pages. People are watching videos, they're uploading videos, they're chatting with each other, they're playing games on the web. All of these things certainly never existed back when the first browsers were created, when the first web was created. Wouldn't it be great to start from scratch and design something based on the needs of today's applications and today's webmasters? When we set off to build Google Chrome, we wanted to make sure that we improve browsers along the lines of speed, stability, and security. Um, speed is always very important at Google, and we want to make sure that uh, Chrome executes as fast as possible everything from the JavaScript engine to the renderer. We started a project called V8, which was designed to allow JavaScript to execute extremely fast. JavaScript is the language that is used everywhere on the web. It was performing too slow, so we decided to make it faster. The team that worked on that did an amazing job. We're all stunned by how fast that, that works. We saw a big opportunity to try to take a fresh start and to use a different rendering engine. WebKit um, is something that we spent a long time evaluating. And WebKit is the, the underlying rendering engine for Chrome. Because it's very fast, it's very lightweight, it's very small and easy to maintain code base. So we've worked really hard to keep the browser very fast, especially when it's uh, accessing these very powerful sites and also to keep it very stable. For instance, if you're doing something, if you're playing a game in one browser tab and it suddenly slows down a lot because you know suddenly you have 58 monsters on the screen you have to kill, your next tab over that's running your email isn't going to be slowed down by that. And so we came up with this uh, system whereby each web app would be run in its own environment, uh, isolated from the others. And this allowed us to make them more robust. Other browsers, what might happen is the entire browser would crash. So you lose your online banking session, you lose that document that you were editing, you lose everything. In Google Chrome, if one tab goes down, the other tabs will stay up. So in building Chrome, we were very concerned about security. One of the things that gives us a lot of mileage is the multi-process architecture of Chrome. So each renderer runs in a separate process on your computer. And that means that they're isolated from each other so that one can't talk to the other and steal information. So what we do is we essentially give each web page its own little playground, its own sandbox. So you've got your online banking running in one tab. You've got your search results, your Gmail in another tab. The two can't talk to each other. And if something bad happens in one sandbox, you know, it's like maybe there's a giant flood or it starts to rain, the other sandbox is going to stay nice and dry, nice and happy. Your tab is going to be isolated from the other tabs. In an engineering and browser sense, Chrome is the, uh, is the user interface itself. It's the stuff around the outside of the window, the, uh, you know, the buttons, the toolbars, all that kind of stuff. And so, Hand in hand with that was this design philosophy that we took, which was we wanted to maximize content and minimize Chrome. In designing Chrome, we felt that we had to make it invisible. We, people shouldn't have to think about Google Chrome. People should have to think about their applications. And in this process, we have taken a very minimalistic approach, just like Google.com. You know, if you think of the white page in Google.com, we have tried to do the same with the browser. From top to bottom, we designed the interface to make sure that it was as efficient and clean as possible. We argued over every single pixel in the, in the Chrome of Chrome to make sure that it was, there was nothing wasted. So Google Chrome is a fully open source browser, right? And so we want to release this in a way in which others adopt good ideas from us, like we, will, we want to adopt good ideas from other folks, and help the browser get better. People should be able to dig into that. People should be able to learn from it, and people should be able to contribute. We really want the work that we do to sort of raise the bar for browsers. We want to push browsers further. We want to make the capabilities better. We want to be able to allow for better web applications to be delivered. Even if Google Chrome itself uh, isn't used by everyone on the web, as long as it makes the web better, we've achieved our goal.